Welcome to my Yakuza Kiwami 100% Trophy Guide video. In this video we're going to talk about the Dragon Roars trophy. So, for this one you need to complete chapter 10. There's a big gauntlet for this one, it takes a while to get through. And then the final boss is kind of tricky as well. Um, he's surrounded by enemies so you need to just get rid of them first. Make your life a lot easier. Uh, he's got two guns, he does all kinds of shooting at you. Sometimes single bullets, sometimes a spread. You know, sometimes he kicks, sometimes he does this. But if you try and get close to him, generally he dodges. Uh, if you can get a decent big weapon close by to him where he can't move too much, you will do a lot of damage. But uh, once you learn Tiger Drop, which you should have done already, hopefully, uh, you can actually nail him whilst he's shooting if you're good enough. Um, if not, you can wait till he does certain moves where you can capitalize on it with a tiger drop ball. Just keep trying to hit him basically. Um, if you've got your own weapons they might be useful to use. Obviously if you take all the heals with you, you can just keep boosting your uh, boosting your stuff. I've gone for the rush mode there but as you can see he's just dodging everything. He's being a pain. Get into dragon mode. Get him shot. Shoot him down. But yeah, his health bar is just preposterous in this. It's, it's just sad. Just sad. But yeah, the this part of the game as well and the story is really good here. So I don't want to ruin anything for you. But the, the story part of this section is awesome. So get him on the ground. Beat him down. Give him a good punch in the face. But yeah, if you can lure him over to the corner where those sort of uh, generators are. You can uh, use some of the weapons there, get some decent chunks of damage. It's yeah, it's just an awkward... There you go, when he does something like that, that's when you should capitalise, when he stands still. But as you can see by the generators, there's loads of weapons. If you can trap him in there, and then just start swinging with beast mode, uh, you might be able to get away with it. But once he does that single shot thing, that's where you want to be getting behind him. And then giving them a good tag drop. But I've gone for the grab tactic. The grab and throw. Which works occasionally. But uh, if you do it too much. He's going to cotton on to it. And you can't keep grabbing him. Depending on the difficulty as well. Sometimes he's more aggressive. Sometimes he's pretty crazy. Pretty erratic. But uh, yeah. Just keep at it. I mean... It's not that bad. The only time this becomes an issue is in the ultimate battles where you have to do it under a timer. And that's when it can become very dicey. But as you can see, it's a brawl mode finisher. Uh, a beast mode finisher, sorry, for his thing. So it's kind of like ushering you on to do beast mode in some way or another. In the corner with all those weapons, like you will do a decent chunk of their damage. But yeah, if you can time it, if you can time the uh, tiger drop on this, it makes the fight trivial. To be honest, when he does this, get behind him. That was unlucky because we just rolled straight into him. Unfortunately, should have rolled to the side. When he does that, stand behind him and just tiger drop him. I think you can get like two hits in, possibly. But yeah, it's uh, it's not a it's not a hard fight. You you can bait him into doing that move over and over again. I reckon. But uh, it's it's just annoying. He keeps running away basically, and you you're trying to catch him. Does your head in? If you can wedge him in the corner. See, I'm I'm wary now because he just reacts to everything I do. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I think I'm gonna finish on a tiger drop. I'm guessing. Here you go. That's what you should do. <laughs> Peace out. See you next time.